Hey guys, it's Oma. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm super excited because it's part two of everything that I bought for my new home. As you guys can see behind me, um, I bought a lot of crap. So I figured it would probably be easier to split this up into parts for you guys. Just to, just so you guys aren't overwhelmed because looking at myself, I'm overwhelmed. I'm in the process right now of packing. So I'm really excited to show you guys everything. And... Yeah, I guess let's let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the Queen Comforter set that I got for um, one of the beds. It's a pretty blue color. It comes with uh, one comforter, two pillow shams, two square pillows, and one breakfast pillow. If I'm not mistaken, this was 50 bucks, 45 bucks at Burlington, which you guys have to stop sleeping on Burlington. I bought so many uh, good quality things for very cheap. Definitely Burlington, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Aldi also has some really good stuff. Highly recommend. So in this cute Vera Bradley bag, it's a whole bunch of goodies that I also bought at Burlington. Um, I mainly went in there to buy some more bedding, um, but ended up with a bunch of other stuff. So I ended up getting another sheet set, same one that I got last time in the size queen. This was 17 bucks. And then I also got another mattress protector, this time in Serta. Um, and this one was 20 bucks also for the other queen bed I have. So one of the glass things I bought, it's the Sugar and Spice Ramekins. Basically, they're like um, circular glass like bowls um, that you could use for any sweets, desserts, um, if you want to put like some snacks in them or candies. This was nine bucks and it comes in a pack of six. I'm trying to keep everything as best organized as I can with the different store I bought it from. Um, I bought myself like a little tea kettle. Um, I drink a lot of tea um, and if I'm ever making anything I, and I just need to boil some hot water, I could use this. This one was 13 bucks. Super cute. Next, let's move on to Target because I only bought one thing. I ended up getting a full queen duvet set in this gray color. If you guys aren't aware, uh, duvets typically go over like comforters just to make it a much easier clean. As soon as it gets dirty, you just take it off and you throw it in the wash. But this was 30 bucks. So next, I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Arabic store by us. They always have like a lot of um, good quality house things. And I ended up getting this Hamilton Beach. It's supposed to be like a Dutch oven, non-stick. And it's this pretty orange color, which I absolutely love. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say this was, oh, here's the sticker. It's 27 bucks. Just one matchy matchy. I also ended up getting a cake pan. This was 16 bucks. It's supposed to be a 12 inch round uh, cake pan, um, but I could also use it to make other dishes. And I had to get it in this pretty like burnt orange color. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. Next, I ended up getting this cute like bowl. Um, it's primarily for like nuts, but Honestly, you can just put any form of snacks in here. If I'm not mistaken, this was 20, 25 bucks. The one thing I do appreciate is they always package everything really nice. Um, I ended up getting just this really, really pretty uh, glass uh, plate um, and, and it was only five bucks. I don't know, I just thought the design was really cute. This other really cute bag that I have um, is full of stuff that I got at both Aldi and at Big Lots. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from there. It's a lot of glass stuff. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm, I was basically starting from scratch. So that is why I went a little, a little haywire with everything. I really appreciate that Big Lots also double wrapped everything. But I got this really, really pretty glass um, serving dish. I just think it's so freaking cute. Um, this is perfect for any type of meals that you're making and you just want to like put it out on the table for some guests. If I'm not mistaken, this was 14 bucks and it's very, very good quality. Uh, the one thing I like about Big Lots is they're pretty much like a TJ Maxx. Everything is super good quality, but it's a very affordable price. Next up, I got stuff for the bathroom. Um, so I ended up having to get um, a shower liner. This was eight bucks. And I also ended up getting just um, a really simple shower curtain. It's like this fabric, um, almost like leaf design in, um, in a grayish white color. It is super, super cute. This, if I'm not mistaken, was 20 bucks. I ended up getting myself another pan. It's a bacon rose pan. It's kind of like a goldish rose gold color. I'm just really sad because it fell out of the car. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like 
scratched up and dented there, which is perfectly fine. My mistake. This was under 10 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, $9.99. Also ended up getting this really cute, just simple gray basket. It was eight bucks. I figured I could put my wax melts in here or some of my other Bath and Body Works products. I really want to get super organized. Um, Big Lots has a lot of good options for storage. I will say that. So I don't know. I feel like it's diverse. Um, I can use it for a whole bunch of stuff. I also ended up getting, it's technically an avocado masher, uh, but you can use it for potatoes as well. This was four bucks. I wanted some really, really simple uh, blackout curtains and I wanted the white color because I feel like white just makes everything look so spacious, so airy. Um, these were, it's a two pack. I wanted to save that these were 25 bucks or less. I, for the life of cannot remember, but it comes with four window panels, right? And the very last thing I got at Big Lots is I got another cutting board set. Um, it comes with a smaller one and a bigger one with like the little grippies on them. And this was 13 bucks. All right, friends, everything behind me now, I can't even walk in front of me at this point because there's stuff everywhere. Um, but behind me, everything is from Aldi. You guys know I absolutely love all the, it's super cheap stuff. It, they have food, they have just random seasonal things, and I always find really, really good stuff for the home. And today, I ended up getting just a bunch of stuff that I needed. Granted, I did spend a lot of money because I bought a bunch of stuff, but I wanted to show you guys everything. Um, I ended up getting, like I mentioned, I really want to get into organization. So I ended up getting um, this three piece container set. I figured this could be primarily for my spices. This was 10 bucks. I want to say a majority of their storage stuff is anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks. And then um, I bought, I think, two other packs of these, if I'm not mistaken. These are plastic, um, but I figured these would be awesome for really anything throughout the house. Um, and this was 15 bucks, if I'm not mistaken get into the fun stuff the stuff that I'm most excited about so you guys know I don't know if this has happened to any of you um but we all know that showers are very very slippery and it's happened one one too many times where I slip and I hurt myself so I had to make sure that I got myself a bath mat um just something that way I'm not falling all over the place this was only five bucks I really love these like wicker baskets. I just think they're so dainty, so cute. This set was 13 bucks. It comes with this bigger one and a smaller one. I figured I'm going to use the bigger one at least for the bathroom to put like some toiletries in there. Um, and then the smaller one I might use uh, for another part of the bathroom as well. I have two bathrooms. So I don't know. I'm just really, really excited because 13 bucks for two, it's really cheap and it just, it looks cute. I also ended up getting myself like a mat for shoes because there's carpet everywhere. And the one thing I refuse to do is have stained carpet. Um, so this was only seven bucks and I'm going to put this by the front door. I also ended up getting a bath rug set. Guys, this was $17 and it's reversible. So like if I decide I don't like this um, design for whatever reason, I want to switch it up. I can just use the plain like cream colored side. Um, this is going to be perfect for the upstairs bathroom. Last but not least, I got myself a um, storage tower. Um, I just thought this was really, really cute. Um, the shelves in there, the drawers rather, like you can take them out. And I figured this would be really good for um, just like the smaller things that are in my dresser because I don't think I'm going to buy a dresser for this place. And I just want something to put like socks, underwear, bras, you know, just that kind of stuff. And I think, I think this is just over two feet tall and it's 40 bucks. That is everything for part two. I feel like I have a very good grip of everything that I need. I still, of course, need some bigger, bulkier items, but for the most part, I have all the little things, which is a relief for me. I collected a bunch of stuff uh, throughout the months just so it wouldn't be as expensive moving. And now I'm really, really happy I did that. As always, my loves, I hope everyone has an amazing day and even better tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.